it going guys, Richard Blix C here, and I am in the special little quiet room that uh, Spin Master has let us use here, and I wanted to give you a pretty uh, in-depth uh, opening on all this new stuff they gave us. They gave us each uh, like five packs to build a deck from, and um, uh, what is this, ten? Or a, a good amount of packs here to uh, build a deck from for tomorrow. So I wanted to bring this to you guys. Uh, I'm going to kind of blow through some of these openings just so you can see what's up. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pass this out. So new Armored Alliance Bakugan. Uh, they're looking really cool. Uh, it's it's, it's going to be a great line. But... All right, so the new Nilius core is very awesome. This is a very cool Bakugan. Um, I love the design. Some of us have seen this already, but you know, it's okay. Even on non on the non darkest coloring, they have the separate colored eyes, so that's cool. Um, let's look at what he comes. Oh, he stands up on his own pretty well too. That's actually really nice. So get some out of the way. Um, packaging is a little different. Let's see. Uh, now we have. Um, I think a little better stuff at the cards here. It looks like we don't have any card damage. It's a packaging. Okay. Cool, cool. It's, it's, oh, I see. Okay, so to fix, to fix some of the problems we've had, and uh, y'all know what I'm talking about with this, uh, they have done something very smart. So now, if I can, <laughs> if I can get this open so I can show you. One second. Uh, if I had a knife, this would be easier. See, I'm being a little more aggressive with it because they have a magnet card in here, resembling or um, kind of calling back to the old um, uh, the gate cards, kind of. Uh, they're for trick shots. They're nothing to do with the card game, uh, but this is one right here. So this is Winton, obviously, uh, and on the back here is this little magnetic card, and basically you have it there, and the whole thing is magnetic, kind of like a gate card, and it's made for trick shots with stuff from like the old game, so that's pretty cool. Nilius Core, uh, Green Fist, Red Shield, new cores design here, uh, Red Shield here, I love these so much, these are so much better, uh, in my opinion, uh, 100 B power for Ventus Hayas plus 3, cool stuff. Here we are, the Nilius Green Fist Red Shield, 405. This isn't awful at all. This is actually pretty cool. Um, Art-wise, very neat. I like it a lot. So there is Nilius, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So I'm going uh, to kind of go through all this stuff as quick as I can. Let's move to the new Hydrus Ultra. Uh, this is one that everyone's pretty much seen. Uh, this did get leaked early, but I have my own now, and I'm very excited for it. So packaging feels infinitely better uh, as a um, as a kind of something they took from Jet, uh, I think, or what they made it seem like. Um, the packaging is flat now on the front, so you can really get a good view of the product on the inside. Uh, and so I just think it's a lot better. This is an Ultra, so it looks like we get some extra goodies, which is nice. Uh, the packaging has the, the uh, symbol on the back of their faction. That's nice. Good, uh, good addition there. Let's let's get Hydra out of here. All right, so here we have Hydras, uh, looking really awesome. This is a uh, this is one of their better better versions of this Bakugan, I have to say. Um, very nice. Seems like an easy roll up as well, which is always a plus, especially for us, uh, you know, competitive players out there. Uh, I think I messed it up though. <laughs> Hold on. This needs to go. This goes. Head goes. Tail goes. Uh, I don't know how to get his head down. I'm 100% sure I'm folding it up wrong. So I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look into that later. But here you have Hydras, guys. Very awesome looking. All right. Core wise, we have a Red Fist and Red Shield. Decent combination. Uh, Aquas Ventus 400, like we've had before, and a nice little trap. So cool course. And now, let's see what's in the Ultras. Alright. Um, same thing, we have a mag uh, magnet card to prevent any bending 
with the cards. So look at this condition. So much better. Thank you, Bakugan. Let's see what we go with. Ooh, we get a, a Baku Gear card. All right. Uh, this is a Aqua, Aqua Greaves. So very cool. Um, five cost, four frost, 200B, four attack. So I like this bottom stat line. Um, and then adding the frost onto it is kind of cool. Remember, um, I guess we need to talk about it a little bit, but uh, Baku Gear attached to your Bakugan. You don't need the figures, you only need the cards. So playability wise, um, you don't have to have those little figurines uh, like we do over there. Uh, so um, there, this is just a new card type. So you can take it as that. Hydra Ultra, we have Red Fist, Red Shield, 605 uh, with fantastic art. I love this art, it looks very good. Uh, I'm a big fan of this. Uh, we have a Shun uh, Magnet card. Cool. Pretty awesome. Uh, something to notice with these. They link up together for you trick shotters out there. So you get like a cool little deal going on. So that's awesome. Um, we have the fold up sheet, which I don't need to look at. But for you guys, I want to show you the list. Here we are. Um, I'll try to get a little panning thing here, but here is the list of the new Bakugan. Uh, it's pretty cool. Tritorus, Tritorius, Tritorius is uh, really awesome looking, by the way, in person. Um, Simo's Bakugan, Simoga, uh, very, very cool. And that's that's just awesome. So, all right, let's uh, continue on through this thing, all right? Um, I'm going to save that for last because, of course, um, the new Halcor. Uh, I'm really excited to see this one. Very interesting. All right. So this is an Ultra as well. Uh, there is a core Halcor that's going around, so that'll be interesting to see. Uh, I do not have that one with me, though. New Magic Shield looks great, by the way. Um, all right, so we have uh, the new Halcor. Uh, some people had seen this already, but he definitely has a different design than he did last time. He's got these three little heads right here, and they're all individually like bendable, so it's kind of neat. Uh, and this huge tail, but um, it, it, it the tail's so big and positioned this way so that it can fit his uh, his like special Baku gear on him. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, folding him up, I haven't even thought about it yet. Let's see, that closes. Tail comes forward. Oh, it's relatively easy. So there's a ball form for the new Halcor. See about opening. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't rolled any of these new Bakugans. My first couple of rolls here, so I don't know how well this is gonna work. Nope. There we go. I rolled them backwards, but there you go. New Halcor cores. 550B Magic Shield. 150 plus four uh, for the Red Fist. So that's pretty cool. All right, um, so does this turn into a new Chaos Nilia partner or not? We'll have to see. Okay. Um, so let's just go into this. What do we have? 400B, five damage. Um, so you can get to like 1050 with a magic shield. So this isn't the worst thing. This is, uh, this is something. We'll have to look into Evos for this guy to see how, how viable he will be. Uh, Scorching Shorts, we have two damage or two energy, 100B, one attack, and you get Shadow Strike. So I like that they're giving you stats while giving you the secondary effects and abilities in one thing. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, very cool for Halcor. Um, he's very nice. All right, we're going to do the Chaos Dragonoid core that I have here, and then I'm going to save uh, Dragonoid with the Battle Gear for its own video. Um, but so this is going to be the last one for this video. This is the new Chaos Dragonoid core. Uh, very excited for this thing right here, man. Um, let's. All right, so new Chaos Dragonoid core. Very cool. I love the new design. They got the little mark on his eye and everything. Um, B power on there. Oh, and I haven't been showing off the faction symbols. Sorry, um, all the Bakugan have their faction symbols on them now. It's pretty awesome. Uh, this horn goes down. Let's see, do this, this, this. 
Come on. Oh, this horn is fully manual. It goes down. Oh, it looks great in ball form. I love the wings. That's awesome. Here we go. Let's try this. Oops. There's a, there's a bump in this thing. Oh, no. All right. Well, y'all get it. Uh, let's see the magnet. And there you go. Very awesome. The new Dragonoid core is great. Uh, this horn is, is uh, manual, so that's cool. But, yeah, there we go. Awesome. All right. So, core-wise, we get a helix and a green fist. Uh, some basic cores, um, but they look awesome. So, last thing to do is look at the card. And then in the next video uh, uploaded, you will see the new Dragonoid. Uh, I guess you call this a two-pack, or I don't know what you're going to call these packs. The gear packs, I guess we can call them. Um, but they're awesome. They're really cool. So, uh, i do last thing here. Let's check them out. Chaos Dragonoid Core. We have a Green Fist and a Helix featuring uh, 300 B power and seven attack. That's stout, so awesome. All right, uh, we got the Leah magnet thing and that's it for me, guys. Uh, stick around, we're gonna show off this Dragonoid uh, with the battle gear in the next video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Like and subscribe.